Well, that's a hell of a thing you did. Hang out in the car, keep it from going over the edge. Mess up your hands on some jagged glass pretty good. But you'd pretty much do anything for the mother of your little boy. You're not here to ask me about my health. No. Sam's head run. We already talked about that. There's huh? something else that we haven't talked about. Someone. Elizabeth. There's nothing to talk about. Well, with the fact that Elizabeth had an accident the night she fell asleep at the wheel. In fact, you've been covering along with a dent in her fender and the blood, and which conveniently washed away. I came to talk to you. I kind of overheard you and Elizabeth talking yesterday. She wanted to come forward. And not since you've convinced Elizabeth to keep quiet by the way you've handled this. You cover up things for a living. But you've left a lot of loose ends, and I, I'm going to start picking them up. And I know what I'm going to find. Right. I'm still tracking other leads. Other right leads? Now. Yeah. I've eliminated two people who were on that road that night who had an accident who didn't turn themselves in either. There's someone else I need to follow up on. What? I know you convinced Elizabeth to buy okay, I'm not trying. Thing. I'm not trying to cover anything up, Lucky. I just don't want Elizabeth coming forward until I'm sure. I do not want her to suffer needlessly for this. You you know what Sam would do. Yeah, well, if you were to come to Sam, oh, like that, like with... that would have made a difference. You know what? Despite what you think, I am not looking to get back at Elizabeth. I don't want to see her hurt. But don't ask me to let this thing go. Look, I'm not asking you to let anything go. All my, I'm asking you to come to me. Okay, don't don't tell Elizabeth what you know. That you're looking into this. She's upset enough as it is. Please do not go to her. You come to me first. Elizabeth, can I see the page chart? I don't know, I can't do that. Okay, but somebody's got to give me some answers because I'm, you know, nobody oh, wants Elizabeth, hey, is your car in the parking lot? Why? Why? Well, I thought I'd take the boys out for dinner. You know, Cammy gets such a kick out riding in the squad car. I thought maybe I should get their car seats. Yeah, 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 yeah. I can do that for you. No, it's okay. I can do it myself. No, really, it's no problem. Elizabeth, there's a patient in distress in 1023. They need you down this set. You know what, why don't you go ahead? I think I have my spare key for the car. Do you have lead in your shoes? I'll catch you later. Are you going in, we were only able to regain about 90% of the feeling of function in your hands, that it was going to take time and multiple surgeries. One of the doctors that we had conferenced in, he's been working with this micro-surgical equipment stuff that we won't have for another year. He's the best, and he's got the best tools. What's the downside? Well, with any surgery, there's risk, but there's huge upside here. This is your best shot at regaining full function of your hands. Uh, where, is, where is this doctor located? He's in Seattle. There's a lot of people wanting to work with him. I want you to go as soon as he's available. You're going away? As Nurse Weber can attest, I have a bit of an ego when it comes to my reputation. Just a bit. I rarely give my patients up to other surgeons, but I have confidence in Dr. Brown. This is your best possible outcome. That's great news. How soon? I'll call him right now. Tell him you're ready when he is. Okay. Well, that's good news. Yesterday it was sunny. I realized I came so a little sorry. strong. You, you can take it. I know, but it's your life. We don't have to talk about that. I mean, you're my life right now, Jake. I have to take this. Say, there's so much that I, I want to say. Just wait. This won't take long. I'll be right back. Sorry that took so long. 